This video is just a quick setup guide on how to use your IMAX B6 Smart Charger to charge different batteries. So out of the box, when you plug it in, it doesn't have any settings preset. As soon as you plug power to it, this is the main screen that is the most common to come up. When charging LiPo lithium polymer batteries, we want to make sure we're in LiPo mode. Using different batteries, you can use different battery types. So you can press here for battery type and then scroll through your different kinds of battery. Of course, very, very important to make sure you do use the correct type, especially when charging LiPo batteries. If you charge a LiPo battery on a nickel metal hydride setting, it is quite dangerous and it can actually cause that battery to burst into flames. So you definitely don't want to do that. So make sure you're on the correct battery setting and hit enter. Now, there is several modes on these chargers because it is a, a smart balanced charger. When charging a multi-cell LiPo battery, it is highly recommended to use a balanced charge. So this mode here is just a charge. Ideally, we want to hit the across button and run in the balance mode, which means it is going to take all the cells of the battery and charge them equally so that it is not charging one cell, then the next, and then the next. It is charging all three at the same time. To do that, we make sure we're in LiPo balance and hit enter. So now we have our amp rating, which is what the battery is going to charge at. This battery, as you can see, is a 1200 milliamp. So all you have to do is move that decimal place to make that a 1.2. And what that means is this 1200 milliamp battery will charge from pretty much dead flat up to fully charged in around about one hour. If you charge that at a higher value, it will charge it quicker. I don't recommend fast charging regularly because it will massively shorten the life of the battery, but you can do it on the odd occasion where you need to give your battery a little bit of a boost, um, but it is not recommended to discharge a battery and then recharge it and discharge them too regularly, as in multiple times in one day. So for this battery and this battery, they're both 1200 milliamps, so 1.2 amps. Now the next setting is our voltage. We hit enter again and we have our voltage flashing. So a 7.4 volt battery is obviously charged at 7.4. Now 11.1 volt battery, we will need to be charging at 11.1. Now you get the 2S and the 3S next to it. That's representing the two cell and the three cell. That's how the, the S rating is. So for this particular battery, it's currently set for 1.2 amps on 11.1 volts. So that should charge this battery from dead flat within one hour. Now, when we plug in our battery, being we are balanced charging, we need to use both our charge main power cable and also our balance port. Now on these chargers, you will have the main cable. Now these are a mini Tamiya, so that will plug. Sometimes you just gotta fiddle to line them up a little bit. There we go. And then we need to make sure we plug in our balance port as well. Now on the side of the charger, you have these different ports here and it does tell you the cell counts. Now this one will only plug into one, which is the one to suit a three cell battery up in here. Once you have your battery plugged in on your main plug and your balance port, it's technically ready to go. Double checking our data, press and hold the start button and it will go through a battery check procedure. If everything is all well and good to go, you can hit enter to start charging. If there is something wrong, it will give you an almighty squeal noise to say do not charge and it will give you an error. If we now hit enter, it starts charging. So as you can see, this battery is just shy of 10.7 of varying volts. Out of the box batteries from new should be in what's called storage charge. So it should only have around about 30% charge in that battery. When we're reading the screen whilst charging, that 1.2 amps will gradually come down to zero. Once it gets to around about 0.2 amps, you might find because it's balanced charging, it will sit there for about the last 20 minutes until it equalizes all three cells and they match each other and then it will drop to zero. 
An 11.1 volt battery will quite often charge to well over 12 volts. That's perfectly normal. It's 11.1 volt is its idle. It can charge higher and it will obviously discharge to below 11.1 volt. Whilst we're charging, we can hit our side arrow and we can see our different values on the different cells. So right now you can see the first cell is at 3.57, the second cell is 3.64, and the third cell is 3.68. The charger will work its way to try and have them equalized. So it will probably currently bring these two up to match the 3.8. Then once they're all similar, they will all charge within a 0.2 or 0.3 of each other through the whole charge cycle so that all three cells are balanced together. Now once this has finished charging, as we said, the 1.2 will get close to zero and it will give the squealy, 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 I'm finished, turn me off noise. It is also highly recommended that LiPo batteries always be charged in a LiPo safe charging bag. Normally they are a Kevlar or some form of fireproof material because LiPo batteries are fairly volatile and if charged wrong or if something goes wrong with the charge, it can potentially set, in, set on fire. Highly recommended to use a charge bag. Once all finished, obviously just unplug from the charger, disconnect from the main power cable, and away we go. Now, charging at the correct C of the 1.2 amps for this battery, this battery might get a little warmer than ambient, so a little warmer than you know normal field temperature. If it gets hot, it means there's something not quite right. If you charge on a fast charge, so let's say if you have a 1.2 battery charging at what is known as 3C, so that's 1.2 times 3, this battery will get very hot, but it should charge to full from empty in around about 20 minutes, which is a third of an hour. As we said at the start, highly recommended to charge at 1C, which is 1.2 milliamps, um, for the maximum life of the battery.